My name is Zach Coca with Minerick Drives, and in this video we're going to show you how to wire up the RG500 UA drive. The first step to wiring up this drive is to set the input and output voltage switches. The input voltage switches are located next to the transformer and are factory default set for 230 volts ACN. We're going to be using 115, so we'll switch both of them to the 115 position. The output voltage switch is located at the end of the drive and it's factory default set for 180. We're going to be using a 90 volt motor, so we'll move that to the 90 volt position. The last switch to look at is the feedback switch. This sets to whether you're using tack feedback or armature feedback. We're not going to be using tack feedback, so we'll make sure that the switch is located in the armature feedback position, which is the factory default position. The next step is to connect the armature leads from the motor to the drive. We'll connect these to A1 and A2. Next, we're going to wire up a speed potentiometer. We're going to take the common lead and wire that to S0, the wiper to S2, and the positive lead of the potentiometer to S1. Next, we're going to wire up a run brake switch. To wire this up, we'll take one of the leads to the switch to RB1, and the second lead to RB2. Next, we'll wire up an inhibit switch. This connection will be to the header block labeled inhibit in the middle of the drive. Next, we'll look at the jumper located next to the transformer on the drive. This sets whether the drive is in run mode or coast to stop mode. In coast to stop mode, the drive will disconnect the motor from power and let it coast to stop. So to operate the drive, we need to have the drive in run mode, which is the factory default setting. Next, we're going to connect the power leads to L1 and L2. We'll connect the first L1. And L2 has a dedicated spot for 230 volts AC and one for 115 volts AC. We're using 115. Now that we've double checked all of our wiring and we've turned our main speed potentiometer down to zero, it's okay to apply power to the drive. We'll now turn the main speed pot to make sure the drive commands the motor to rotate. Next, we'll turn the main speed pot up to 100 to make sure we get the max speed we require for our application. The next step is to test both switches. The first, the inhibit switch, and next, the run brake switch. To test the run brake switch, we'll turn up the reverse acceleration trim pot so that when we activate the run brake, we notice the motor decelerates down to zero. We'll turn the trim pot back down to zero and unactivate the run brake. Everything seems to be working as intended. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Minerick Drives. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerickdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-6950.